Destiny. Today I wanted to show you my go-to rave makeup look. So I wore this look to Moonrise 2018 on Saturday. There was like a rain delay and everything so this makeup survived the rain and a full day of dancing and sweating and just like grossness so I think it is definitely rave approved and this is my go-to rave makeup look because you can literally change the pink to any other color and match any outfit it's perfect for any music festival or rave it is festival season I'm so excited this is a makeup look that will literally last you through dancing through sweating through rain through everything so this is what you need for raves or festivals so as you can tell I already have some eyeshadow on I started doing this look and then I messed up when I got to the glitter so I had to take off this eye completely so we're just gonna redo this eye the first step for every rave or concert or festival makeup look is primer so I never use primer it's a little secret of mine I like literally never use it anymore I just switched to only using it when I literally need my makeup to stay on for like six hours plus and I'm wearing like a very full face of makeup that if it gets messed up you can tell right now I'm using the James Charles Morphe palette. I just put the light pink matte shade literally like all over my lid after priming and then I'm taking the hot pink shade as you can tell and just putting it into my crease. I wore this to Moonrise 2018 on Saturday and it literally was like a rain delay so my makeup got rained on and stuff and it still looked so good like I don't know how I got it to stay on this good but the products I use are just like really great quality so that's why I wanted to show you guys this look in, in specific so yeah I just as you can see you can do this you can do this with literally any color eyeshadow you just do the same technique that's why it's literally my go-to and I just put a silver glitter all over the lid and so it literally matches anything and I love it so yeah, when I actually did this look for Moonrise, I didn't have the James Charles palette. I don't think it was out yet, but this look, it took so much longer to accomplish this bright pink look. So I just wanted to say thank you, James Charles, for making this so easy for me. I have like glitter in my eye. I'm kind of blind in this one eye right now, but it's okay. As I said, I messed up the last look because I'm out of glitter glue. So I attempted to use concealer on my lid and then put glitter over it but it was just way too much way too thick so I'm going to use my Stila I've actually done this before so hopefully this works out but this is the Stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow just anything to make your glitter stick honestly and I'm using this obnoxiously expensive glitter it's by lit cosmetics it's very beautiful so like that's why it's so expensive but it's the share number three glitter I think it's so beautiful this is like my go-to glitter for any look because it's like just a silver holographic glitter. I'm just going to take this and just pack it where I plan to put the silver. Just like that and now I'm taking the silver glitter. I'm just going to take it on this brush right here. Gotta work quickly before this dries and then just pack the glitter on. Yes, that looks so much better already. Woo! So the glitter obviously isn't like fully um, opaque so it's not going to cover whatever base you use so you can kind of see the darker shade of the Stila shadow underneath the glitter but this is way better than the concealer looked. I would recommend using a glitter glue obviously but if you don't have that, if you have a clear lash glue that would also work really well. I just don't have any clear lash glue, it's all like the dark one. People are always wondering where you get glitter because you want to use a cosmetic grade glitter on your eyes. On your face you can use like craft store glitter and it's not that big of a deal. You might break out but like on your eyes you should not be using like glitter you buy at Michaels because it's not safe for your eyes. So this glitter as I said is very expensive but I've ordered glitters in bulk online. I forget the name of the site. It's like bulk glitters or something generic like that but they have really really good glitters in like every color for the cheapest price ever so I will link that for you guys and if you want to get glitters I would definitely recommend getting them from there. So I have my glitter on and now I'm just going back with the pink and just touching up my crease. So obviously, this is very like dramatic and intense. I usually don't wear makeup like this on a daily basis. I'm not that good at makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I like doing this for raves. So I figured I would share it with you guys. It also lasts forever. To do the inner corners with a pink tinted 
highlight. Love this for festivals. Colored highlighters I think are the most beautiful thing ever and you can obviously you can obviously match them to your outfit. Speaking of outfits, people always ask me like my favorite places to get rave outfits or where I buy most of my rave outfits. So most of my outfits come from like a few sites. So iHeart Raves is a big one. I love ordering from iHeart Raves. They just have like your classic festival things, but they're really not unique. Everyone knows about iHeart Raves. Everyone shops at iHeart Raves, so it's hard to get like unique pieces. Doll's Kill is definitely another one of my favorites. I love Doll's Kill. Be smart with your rave wear. I would just get like a couple expensive things that you could match with like everything. Like a couple good pairs of shorts that are just like black or you know like holographic shiny that can match with like any color top. Rough little line of eyeliner just to define my lashes. Use mascara. You obviously can use fake lashes, but I'm just not about fake eyelashes when I'm really sweaty because I feel like they're just gonna like sweat off and just be annoying. And I like to deal with the least amount of things possible when I'm at a festival. So yeah, dealing with my eyelashes coming off is not one of my ideal situations. I also, always prime my face for festivals just because I really want to lock in my makeup. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's the one I always use. It's like my tried and true primer. It literally locks my makeup in so long. For festivals I always like to use a foundation that's a little bit darker than my skin just because I like to look tan. So this one's just like a tad bit dark for me. It's not extremely dark. This is the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. So I just put it on my face and then just blend it in obviously another thing people ask is like where do you go to raves and how often do you go so I go to the University of Maryland as most of you know so echo stage is really close to UMD so I was going a lot so how often I go depends on what DJs are coming obviously I won't go if I don't like the music at all I used to not care I would go to literally any show and then some of them I would be like wow what was that like I did not like that at all but now I just go to things I want to go to unless my boyfriend really wants to go to something so then I'll go with him but I go to shows at Echo Stage, 930 Club, and Soundcheck mainly. Mainly Echo and Soundcheck. So if you live in DC or like the DMV area and you haven't been to Echo Stage, I would just go whenever you find music that you're interested in. Put some concealer on. Also the Tarte Shape Tape. I I'm not sure if this is my color. I haven't used it in a while, but I saw it in my drawer and I was like, I'm gonna use that today. So we're gonna use it. Just put it under my eyes like this. Not too close to my lower lash line because I don't wanna mess up the eyeshadow I have there, but we can get closer with a brush when blending. I'm going and they've never been. So tips, I would say be safe, obviously. Like a lot of people are crazy at raves and do like really bad things and like scary things. So just be aware of that. But overall, everyone is like really, really nice. And you'll be surprised how nice everyone is. Now powdering my face, a very crucial step as well. Make sure I really powder my face just so my makeup doesn't sweat off and look gross. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder Throwback. I know, but it's a really good powder. just really locks in your makeup. Now I'm just going to bronze up my face a bit, literally using the same brush with just NARS Laguna Bronzer. Such a pretty bronzer. I love it. Um, but yeah, I just really like to contour my forehead. I feel like it looks really good when I do that in pictures. And then I just contour my cheeks as well. Or not even really contour, just kind of like warm them up. So that's that. And then also around the sides of my nose, I'm not contouring my nose. I'm going to put a little bit of blush just because my eyeshadow is pink. So I want to have some color in my face, not just be completely like dull. And now I'm going back to this highlighting palette and the pink shade. And as you can see, it's like a pink toned highlighter, really pretty, and it looks really good with the pink eyeshadow. And if you're wearing a pink outfit, like I wore a pink outfit from Dolls Kill at Moonrise when I did this makeup. So I'm doing my eyebrows. This is just the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is the eyebrow stuff I use all the time. Really good because it's like a liquid product that just sets. It's like a liquid gel. It's really good it just like sets your eyebrows in place and as you can tell really easy just like 
adds a lot to your face. And then for lips, I'm just going to use this NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Razzle. And it's just like a really hot, I'm an idiot. Oops. I like to just like dab this on my lips and then just like rub them together because it's a really intense lipstick as you can tell. So I don't want it like all over my lips. Literally put that lipstick on so badly, but you can kind of get the idea. So this is like my little Barbie girl rave look. It would look so good if you had some rhinestones. I believe I did wear rhinestones with this look. This is my completed makeup look. We just have one finishing touch, which is makeup setting spray. And this is another product that I don't typically use, but if I'm going to a festival, I will use it because you need it. It literally makes your makeup stay on so much longer and just makes it like sweat proof. I obviously used a ton, but Ew. I just wanted to include a few pieces Dolls Kill sent me recently because Dolls Kill is like my go-to rave shop as of recently. The first piece I got is this insane like rave coat. I think it's beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this to a festival guys. Like I just will feel like a rave princess literally. It's amazing. So this obviously would be great for like the nighttime, so cute. It's like this mint green fur. My boyfriend's not too happy about it because the fur literally flies everywhere, you can tell, but um, it's just, it's like fur lined. So it has the fur at the end of the sleeves and all down the front and also along the hood. Just the hood in general is such a selling point on it, but it just is all sequined like this and it's just this open, like long coat. I just think it's so beautiful and obviously it's very extra. So, so fun and cute. They had a matching top, but I didn't get it. The shorts are just this like shiny plasticky material, but they're black and they have this like rainbow glitter on it. It literally looks like the sky, like the stars in the sky. It's so cute. They have pockets on the back. They have a zipper in the front with like a little star accent. How cute. And then they just have like some stars and moons. I'm so excited they exist and I own them. So they're just these cheetah pants and I don't know if you can tell but they are sheer but they have like a little underwear or like lining underneath them so they're not see-through on your butt they're just like it looks like you're wearing underwear and then just your pants so cute i literally love and then the bottom is the best part they're flare and then they have fur i love fur and i love this i think it's the cutest thing ever with just like a black plain top so i will link all those items from dolls kill below but that was my go-to rave makeup look if you want me to do more rave videos i would love to that was this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day bye